for the people who have been convinced otherwise, for the ones who were ashamed and so quiet, for the last streams left, the bottom of the tracks, the back of a bus, the inside of a barrel, the edge of a blade, the distance in the fall, the darkness of a closet, for the difference in hanging on and falling over, tomorrow the news will be quiet. So will the president, so will the teachers and the governor, and maybe even your parents, but there's a sea of crying hearts weeping in your distance, wondering if they're next, wondering how to stop the pattern. Somewhere, someone is screaming into the darkness. Beautiful child, this is a melody for your lonesome soul because I know the right playlist can pull you back from the edge. The right kind of song can bring you back into believing. I promise that you will never be alone. As long as someone is still running, as long as someone is still falling, we will be the same kind of beautiful with ugly secrets hiding in our pockets, letters that should have never been written in regret of our silence tonight. All the good poets are writing, 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 but pen scratches are barely audible and Facebook and Twitter are still stuttering, so tomorrow maybe some of us will speak into the darkness. Call out your names, tattoo them to our vocal cords and remind ourselves that we are all the same kind of lost children crying out, praying not to be forgotten. Thank you. Please keep your applause going for David. So my full name is David Keely McKenzie, and even though I was born and raised in Massachusetts, I am kind of a Maui. And um, when I was looking, when the issue of civil unions first came up, I remember looking at the coverage of it and seeing the anti-civil union protests and at least in the media, too many of the pictures of people were Hawaiian. And um, the appropriation of the red shirts for an anti-gay cause. Um, this poem is the response to that. It's called History. The goddess Hiyaka travels with her female companion, Wahine Obama. This woman expressed her desire for the goddess. This fact was not erased through centuries of retelling, through translation, through Christianity. Further down the line is the memory of the high chief Liloa embracing his lover on maps of Lauhala. And even more recently, King Kamehameha III forced to give up his lover Kaomi in favor of missionary influence. So we are still here. We have always been here. We are in your mo'olelo, we are in your mo'oku'auhao now. Let that speak. <laughs> 